Welcome back everyone. I'm here to show you um, part two of um, my month of all the different planners and um, systems I am using, yeah, for 2022. So um, I had already previously shown you guys um, some products from Plotter and I was doing a little trial period of just using their inserts. Um, but then I had to bite the bullet. I watched a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of them from Japanese um, users, and then some from um, other places like the USA, of those who had their actual binder. And I decided to go ahead and bite the bullet and get one of their binders. And, um, and a few more of their accessories. So that's what I'm going to be um, showing you guys and talking about. So since they're in the U.S., they have a USA store. And mind you, the U.S. store does not have all of their various um, products um, compared to their Japanese stores. Um, so do keep that in mind. So it's... Um, a limited amount of things, but it looks like they're slowly adding some more items into the USA store. So I would say if you're really interested in their products, um, just keep checking, you know, every month or whatever and see if they got something new on the site. But let me go into um, some comparisons and um, what I did get so that you guys can... Um, yeah take a look all right so um when you order a plotter binder it will come in this orange box and it has the i guess the clock um and i guess this part of the i need to look this up uh what this um symbol means but I'm assuming because you're plotting out time or plotting out your day. Um, so that's just my thought, but I haven't looked it up. But I did look up some other important information. Um, so anyway, it comes in a box like this. And the inside is black. So this seems to be the company's color. And then um, it had <clears throat> the binder was... Um, in this cover and it also had um, I can't remember I think it's just in the box it came in a plain brown box the shipment and then inside had this cool little plotter wrapping paper tissue paper which actually was really nice and anyway, so the binders in this, and you can see the design is on the outside of this too. I have it upside down. There we go. It was in the box. Okay. And then it had, uh, when I opened up the binder, it had these various little inserts. Um, this one show, tells you about the three different types of leathers that they have. The list, I'm, this is an Italian word. Listio? I'm probably not saying it right. Um, Pubro which is also a, an Italian leather, and then the shrink. And the shrink is the one that I um, went for. And with the three different leathers, of course, there's three different price points. And I'll talk to you guys about that too. So, okay, with these things. And so I just keep everything in here. I do want to show you uh, this um, insert here, it's all in English, which is great. So it just tells you about, you know, their theme of the of the brand. Gives you some pictures of some of their products. Why Plotter, and it talks about that. Expert craftsmanship. You have your QR code. And um, for the USA store and Facebook, Instagram, so their social media stuff. And then on the back, it has um, 
and you see it, it they have this whole thing about the numbers so number one is planner organizer strategist um we have taken the word plotter and redefined it to mean a person who shapes the future or gives birth to change so it talks about that number two three four five i like this because this is going to show you um, how you can use their system and this is using the um, project manager insert and I love this that's this this part I'm going to show you inside mine um, why I feel this system is so unique and why I love it is perfect for my binder being used uh, for projects okay so that's that and then with those other inserts you'll see the inserts that I, are, I have in the box come with the explanation in Japanese and in English. So it's great. You won't have to try to translate using your translate app um, on your phone. So anyway, so here is the shrink leather. Now when you get it, it does not come with this band. I'll show you if you haven't seen previous videos. Um, this is a brass, um, plate and it is um, textured or it's a gold plated antiquing used on that but this is brass and you can see if you can it says plotter there very minimalistic but um, I would say very uh, sophisticated I would say and then there's the back so there's there's no well yeah there's no kind of embossing or anything you know branding on the front or the back so which is great if you don't really like that and then when you open it up and I have you know some of my decorations and stuff there's no brand in here okay it's a very thin leather and here is the back this is where you will see um, branding but when you get it it's just the leather and the ring mechanism None of this other stuff comes in the um, come with the binder. Okay, so let me talk about before I show you guys how um, all the different things I have in here from Plotter, um, the ring mechanism. So the ring mechanism for um, Plotter, this is. 11 millimeters they are inky dinky teeny weensy and if you're wondering well how does that compare the my pocket holborn my pocket holborn here is uh 15 millimeters so here's a pocket holborn Filofax brand and can you see it's going to be kind of difficult focus but you see um, how small they are you got 11 and then 15. okay and then my Moturn my Moturn pocket is even larger than the Holborn. Um, the Moturn pocket that I have here, this one is 19 millimeters. So we got 19, 15, and then 11. Okay. All right, so that's just a little comparison. All right, so um, 
they do encourage, you know, because of the rings, this is a thin leather. Um, if you, if you don't like the indention that, that rings can do to your leather, so you can see the indentions on this opposite side, um, they do have these ring protectors. Um, and it's just a piece of leather. And you see it has their company name there that you just slide under or actually over the rings. So you just slide it down and they have the little cutouts. All right. And then I can show you this. So when I was showing you this kind of this thing here where they kind of show you how you can put the papers in there so here's mine so I have it kind of like a little filing system so in your your um, your notebook or your cover your ring cover you could create kind of like a file system to keep things separated and so I have they come in a set of six and I believe I showed these before and these are the, like their, their project management um, inserts. And so they kind of like open up like a trifold kind of thing here. Um, on the outside, they, it has the same look as their to-do list, which is, comes in this notebook here, number 006. Well, it has the same format. Okay, this... All right, but then in the inside, say if you're working with a team or you, if you have some different deadlines you want to meet, it has um, a deadline type of uh, layout. So you can put, maybe separate this per person if you're working with a team or family or whatever, say um, you're working on a home project and there's certain things that you're going to be doing certain things maybe your your significant other is doing um so then you can maybe separate this and then have the dates across the top and then the, how they have these double lines or double boxes um this is just for you to plot out how far you've gotten to complete until you get to this line and i'll show you in the actual sheets here Okay, you can even put um, what I have done for some of the, the things I've done for my projects is even put um, a date. Maybe um, I'm in the middle of getting this item done and then I'll put um, maybe I got a call and I can just uh, this might represent uh, if this is something I'm doing for the week and there is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's seven boxes, seven up here, seven down here. So this can represent Monday through Sunday. And so I don't have to put the date because I have the date up here for um, the end of the week, right? And so then I can just make a, a line here like I got a follow up or something or um, I worked on it. Monday, Tuesday, and just do a slash or whatever. Just some ideas. Otherwise, you're going to be drawing your line, filling this line in, and you want it to be completely filled in to here, and you've met that task, that part of the project. And maybe you have something else you're doing at the next part, and you have that written here, and then you have a new deadline date to meet or whatever. Just um, things like that. But on this side, I have, so this one is, I have this whole thing, and I have um, abbreviation for my company that I work for. And so I'm working on an internship uh, project. So I not only am the case manager um, at an emergency foster care shelter, but I um, also serve as on-site supervisors for those who have a bachelor's program um that have an internship component and so i am working on for a different school um a syllabus and so i have some different things plotted out get it uh, and so i'm starting to work on this and so i have 
certain things I've done. And I need to actually write this next part, but I've filled in this line, so I got this done. And then I even put the date over here, but I put a check mark, right? But now I need to add on here, because I'm still waiting for her to respond. I sent her an invite uh, regarding being a speaker, um, but I haven't seen the invite in the calendar accepted yet. So I need to actually put a follow-up line in here, okay? Um, but yeah, so then you have up here on the top, it'll say 0%, uh, 50%, 100%, and then your check mark. All right, so that is, and these are the to-do lists in the project management folder. And so you can put several sheets in here. You could just not use this part like I'm, I, like me, because I'm reusing i plan to reuse these until it gets so raggedy it doesn't look good anymore um so i can put several sheets in here or whatever i want i could um take it out maybe i'm just sharing it and i'm putting in somebody else's binder and you do not have to buy a plotter binder to use their inserts uh, this bible size is the same as personal size so if you have your your file of facts, maybe your mold term, um, maybe a custom um, from Vanderspeck, um, your Giglio, uh, this is going to be the same size. Their Bible size is the same size as your other personal binders. The only difference is this is a very minimalistic 11 millimeter rings. It is tiny and this is you know, all about this whole minimalism, just carrying what you need. So many of us, we love to stuff. And um, I would get out my other binder, but we love to stuff our binders, a lot of us, not all of us, a lot of us, um, with all kinds of different things. But this is, um, you know, to encourage that whole min minimalistic. Millen minimalism <laughs> anyway all right so let me go on so that's just how i wanted to show you guys how these work and again they come in six colors i have four in here and then for their products they have their monthlies and i've shown these so um i do have a couple of the months now when i was using my other small this one this was a eight dollar um binder i got from amazon which has i believe the 15 millimeters rings on it um i was able to carry have a lot more in here than on these rings okay trust me so i have some of the um months i just have stored in here and weeks i don't have any of the weeks in here but i'm going to show you guys something very interesting so anyway, you have the month lease, and this is cream paper, and it's their own DP. They call it DP paper, and I'll tell you what that stands for. Um, but like here's uh, February, okay? It's a cream paper, and it is a grid, um, and you can barely see the grid barely barely so it's like um again minim minimalism you can ignore it you can use it the grids if you want to and then um another thing i purchased is their ruler and i was gonna let's see let me use the back of this here no oh, black won't work because that's too dark But um, as you can see here, this is their ruler. I should have got white piece of paper for you guys. Here, I have some. All right, there we go. So this is their um, ruler. And this is, it has not only a ruler, but it has like a protractor on here too. And it goes just on and off your rings. You just pull it off. 
and it has like font sizes which is really cool so say for example you're out shopping for if you're actually in a store you're looking for new fountain pens and you're very particular about your nib size um, this might be very helpful reference for you or other pens all right so you see here that will help you with your size of your nib and then up here is font size okay so I got that And again, it just, like your disc planners, slide it on there and boom. All right, the next thing I wanted to show you guys is, and I have been waiting, waiting, because I didn't initially purchase uh, their lined paper pad um, or their ruled. They call it the ruled six millimeter. And then here it is in their uh, notepad. And what I love about this is, since it's in like a notebook form, you could just take this with you, with all the pages, okay? With all the pages, you can take this with you, toss it in your bag and keep on going, right? And use it throughout the day. Or you can, you know, take out, you know, how many, how many pages you need and put it in here, all right? And then this just shows an example of how you can use it. So here is one that I have some notes because I'm working on um, my family genealogy, but I'm also not only finding out, you know, who is related to who and dates of births and deaths and all that and the relationships, um, but I'm also looking up like what was going on during that period that they were alive. So I have some different like research notes I have started. But let me just show you a page that's not written on. The page is set up where you have here where you can put your date here. You can even put the weather, maybe the high and the low if you want to. Um, there is a red line going across here. And there are slashes going down. On the bottom... The line is black, black, and the slashes are going up. You can barely see it, but each of the actual lines, rows of lines, has a small gap. And in the center at the 12, the line goal is top and bottom. So it goes through all the way across. See that? It is number one through 24 which means you could the way that this is set up you could split this in half you could use the top half or however maybe the top half is for your notes on something and the bottom half is maybe if you're working on a project with a team and you are um maybe these are your notes about what you guys are working on and maybe um, you want to write notes down here what each person their main idea was and you can put their name and then a main key thing that they said, just as an example. Then other ways you can split this up in many rows or boxes. You could split it in four. Uh, maybe you're doing a quadrant thing. So you want to know, you know, what's uh, main priority, you know, high priority, um, important, but not a high priority, whatever. You know what that is. Um, but you could split it where you have it in half and you could use this as a schedule, 24 hour schedule, military time for this side, maybe over here, this side could be for your to do's. I have an example of how I was just trying to try it out. So you guys see what I mean. Many of you probably will know what I mean, but seeing it with your own eyeballs is always helpful, right? So here's where I did more than half way on the page, but I created just this little schedule on this side. And then I put some to do's, important emails on this side with some sticker labels. I folded in half 
because then that way, if I have it within my weeklies, then I can still see half of, you know, this side because I've drew, drawn a line. And then I can be focused over here what's going on during my day and use this like a daily insert. So I got my weekly here and then you have your daily. And then I can flip it and take a look and compare to do's and whatever else I got going on. That was just one idea I was just trying out. All right. So, and then the other item I got was their, uh, this has the page lifter. This is their pen holder. And it just has different ways of writing and um, kind of like practice, I guess. Uh, and, but it says text examples. And then there's quotes here by different people. Pen goes in. I have currently um, one of these micron pens. So this is a, a very small barrel of a pen and it fits perfectly fine but there is room it if you can kind of tell there's room for a larger pen my typical pen is I tend to use the pilot g2.05 and this will, I haven't put one in here yet, but it goes in perfectly fine. My other favorite pen is the, um, the Sarasa and Brown 0 0.05. So these are my typical, and they will go in there. Um, another thing I tend to use is the, and this barrel is, I believe it might be slightly bigger than, than those pens. Um, the mild liner. In gray and that will go in perfectly fine okay and then the other page lifter um, has the map on here which is pretty cool and then there's a ruler on the bottom there's the band to help you close your binder because again it doesn't come with any kind of anything and then on the opposite side, it has like some measurements. And then these are clothing sizes and shoe sizes for men and women. And how did I figure that out? I had to use translate app. Because <laughs> I was like, what is this? Okay. And then, like I said, then you got the ring, um, the leather piece to protect the rings from the rubbing up against your leather. All right. And so when you close this up. So I'm going to put my micron back in here. You close it up. You got this. And you just close it like that. And look how nice and compact this is. I have just the things I need. I have uh, you know, a number of note sheets in here. I have my project system where I have um, for four different areas of my life, you know, work, um, family genealogy project, which is major because I'm hoping once I get all the information I'm comfortable with getting, I want to, I want to write our family story. Okay. Um, and then I have one that's for um, social media and then the other uh, project management folder is for home slash personal development okay and also to one thing i forgot to say on the bottom of these say if you are working with the teams you can put the team members names on here there's three lines here okay all right so that's that now another thing is i also purchased um these these are their little refill memo pads, um, number three, zero, zero, three, card size. The paper of this is different. And let's see, I wrote a note on what this paper was. This paper is called, uh, it's called 40, it's plain, 40 sheets. So there's no lines, there's no nothing. 
it even shows you a picture of how you can you know put them in your system in your binder as you can see here there's this little it looks like um kind of like a id card kind of thing with a lanyard well it's their id case that is not in the usa store okay but this paper is called uh high quality paper that's what it's called so it's not the same as what the other inserts are, which is their DP paper. And the DP means it's the main company name, which is Design, design Fill Pocketbook Paper. Okay, so that's the name. It's their own paper that they created. And let's see if there's anything else I wanted to. Um, the leather binders, like I said, they come in three different types of leathers for three different price ranges all right um this one here the shrink um is let's see it's considered um you know it's a very pebbled pebbled texture so this is going it's going to age but um it's going to age well but you're not going to see scratches it's scratch resistant um they're um Lithia, which is their their higher highest cost one, um, it says that it's tanned, oil smooth Italian leather. Okay, so the more you use it, the shinier it's gonna get. It's gonna become buttery. The mid range one, um, the Peblo, uh, it retains oil and will age with a patina. So I'm thinking probably gonna have that similar look of a well used Jillio, for example, or even a, a Hoborn. Um, if you have a color that's um, maybe a brighter color than black where you can really see the aging. Um, so yes, that is, I believe, in a nutshell, everything um, that I've gotten um, out of their collection. They, like again, I said, keep checking to see what else they, they're adding into the USA store. The Japanese store has a whole lot more um, options products I do not know if you're able to use like a third party um, to actually have items from that store if that's even necessary from Japan to the US or to whatever company a country you live in outside of Japan I don't know I have not looked into that um, but I think this is a great start to the USA store so I encourage you I'll have the link down below Go take a look at the USA store. See what you, um, if you, if anything vibes with you or for you. Their inserts are very reasonable. I mean, they range from, you know, um, $5.50 up to the accessories being up to, I think the most expensive was the, the pin holder with the lifter and a, um, band with the lifter those are $13.50 you can use these inserts without using their binder plain and simple or you don't have to buy all those other things if you don't want to they do have some other things that I did not buy like their two-piece lifter set I didn't need that um, but the inserts themselves if you just want to buy the inserts I mean the monthly is seven dollars and eighty cents I guess and the weekly set is 15 bucks that's a lot cheaper than, you know, if you do the printables and you like that layout, it's, it's a lot cheaper. So, anywho, that's it, you guys. This went on way longer than I originally planned, but I hope you found it helpful to see uh, more about Plotter and some of the, their offerings, or at least the things that I got. Uh, again, I'm not using it as a main planner. This is my project planner. And every now and then, because I do have the weekly inserts and monthly, I might decide to use, hey, for a day as a, as a go uh, on the go, every day of carry um, for a couple of days, whatever. But this is for my projects. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please go ahead and consider hitting the like button, uh, post a question or a comment if anything resonated with you. And do consider joining our Facebook group, our Japanese Planner Facebook group, if you are not already a member. And he'll hit the bell. I believe there's a bell because um, I'm going to keep rolling out videos uh, to show you some of the different things that I am using in my system for now because I switch it up. I keep it, you know, keep it 
fresh. <laughs> anyway, have a great week, you guys.